Today in Brussels, the final votes on the 2018 European Union budget took place. Now, I think it's fair to say there won't be street parties tonight celebrating that, but there are some important things that have come out of the process. We managed to put an extra 105 million euros of new money into Horizon 2020. That's the programme funding research at universities, and the UK does very well from it. There's another 50 million euros for Erasmus. That helps students to study abroad for a year during their courses, and another 350 million for programmes to get young people into work across Europe. There's also new money for security and to deal with the continuing refugee crisis. The budget also sends a strong message to Turkey by cutting their grants because of their unacceptable record on human rights and freedoms. Overall, the budget is static in real terms. All that's great. We hear a lot in the UK about the European Union spending money, but when the bills come in, there's usually money to give back to the member states. Today we voted to return nearly 10 billion euros to the member states, of which the UK will get the best part of 3 billion. And overall, spending this year is around about 8% below the planned figure. EU budget figures sound like an awful lot of money, and of course it is. But of course it's for the whole of Europe, 600 million people. In all, it's a very small fraction of public spending, much less than is spent by national governments and local councils. And it's great value because economies of scale mean that money goes an awful long way.